Alright guys, so this is part two of my um, basically understanding EOC and um, yeah, this is uh, basically you have to go to Lumbridge <coughs> and walk a little bit up uh, it's just basically a bit up here you need to have no um, gear or armors or um, whatever so yeah, basically in the combat thing is here now I've been pretty much told that I shouldn't get any combat um, XP in the skills that I don't want because um, if you go on XP here and then go on combat experience you click the mage in range and it should it hopefully should work like that and let me just put uh, something on charge a second uh, where the f ok there we go alright <coughs> alright we're good to go so if you look at my health here, it's uh, it looks low because I've just taken all my bandos off, but that's what health I should have pretty much. So um, click start training. I know there's a lot of levels and stuff you can do for this as well. So um, I'm gonna do the whole thing. I might as well, you know, no point in making like half a video. <laughs> so yeah. Um, introduction to combat. Click start. And um, there's probably sound and stuff, but I don't play with sound much. Okay, so it basically tells you welcome, blah 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 blah, and all shit like that. So, um, one sec. Let me just make sure that's on defense. Okay. My defense XP is 9540, basically. Let's see. Do you get XP for this? Alright, so you must go over the two rules of combat. Do not die. <laughs> you can ask to go over it again, you know, if you, if you lost or whatever, but. Okay, so basically, he's just talking like, you know. Okay, so now we need to go get some food. Uh, we need the action bar for this bit, even though um, how much I hate it. <laughs> I don't, I don't hate it, you know. I just think there's, you know, it kind of takes up a lot of room. So yeah, um, 802. Eat that. I'm on. Gives me health back. Whatever. And uh, this bar thing won't uh, appear, which is pretty stupid. But yeah, okay. So let's just get a couple of bits of food or whatever, and then go back to. Her. Uh, do you want to start the demonstration? Yes. Okay. So you need to kill a skeleton. All right. What's my XP on? My five four. I don't think I'm gaining any XP for this. Then I probably won't hit it much to be fair <laughs> but whatever I'm just checking my XP so carefully <laughs> 16, 58, ok that's good that's good. alright I'm kinda getting a little bit pwned but I shall win I know there's a bit where you have to tank like tons of um, thingy like yeah you have to tank tons of uh, skeletons soon but yeah that's the first bit so you're like, yay, and you can retry that if you want to. You don't have to. But you can. Um, the different combat things. So this basically just goes over magic, melee, and um, range. So you grab the melee set, which is oh well, just a weapon, really. Equipped it. And then <coughs> attack the creature thing. So daggers are designed for going up close and personal, and then you get other stuff. Ooh. Um, range. Put the range on now. If I get range XP, I'm gonna rip someone's face off. Sixteen. Okay. All right. We're doing good. We're doing good. <laughs> this is half a guide, half watching me don't mess up my account. <laughs> yeah, you get a little staff thing. You don't need runes at this point, I don't think. Uh, and then. You just do some magic stuff. Magic relies on your opponent being at a distance. Yeah, that's fine. So yeah, I should probably go a bit slower through this, but um, the early stages are pretty easy for you to understand, you know. So yeah. Talk to this woman. Attack the zombie with melee. So you put your weapon on and attack. Good work. Now range. Yay, now some magic. Bam. Okay, that should be done. 
attack the dummy with magic. That's what I'm doing. Excellent. Now let's just hope I haven't got any mage XP. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so then, um, yeah, you can go over that again if you want to, but you don't have to. And uh, then there's like a part two or, or something. Everything in combat has a natural cycle. So yeah, I don't know if you guys have heard, but um, there's a thing called a combat um, circle. So yeah, it shows it you really well in a second. You can just you can just flick through this stuff. So basically, melee melee's good against range. Range is good against magic, and magic is powerful against melee. So you know, if you look there, it's like a little like a little circle. Really, it's pretty easy to understand. No, we should carry on. Okay. Right, so I know now I need to uh, attack the melee skeleton. And uh, I need to attack the melee skeleton with magic, because magic's best against melee, I think. Attack the melee. I think I need to hit first before it counts. Excellent. Now attack the range. Uh, if I remember correctly, was it range? Is good against magic. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think range is good against magic. I just need to hit. <laughs> Come on, hit, 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 hit. And this bar thing still won't be a five. Not quite. Okay, I got that wrong. Okay, magic. Uh, melee, because we've not tried melee yet. So, let's try that. Come on, hit. <laughs> hit. A good example of... It will save your life. Yay. Now let's try the next one. <coughs> For this session, you are exploiting your opponent's weaknesses. Okay, that's fine. Yep, yep. Okay, so stabbing weapon. Uh, do you think the students followed that? Yep, of course they did. Because I'm the best tutor ever. <laughs> um. Yeah, so now let's look at a typical ranged weapon. Arrows and bolts and thrown projectiles each cause damage in different ways. Information is available in the task panel and stuff. Okay, let's continue. And finally, different spells. Air spells, yeah, it basically just goes through all the four kind of main spells. Okay, we're doing good at that. Alright, yeah, this is where you see what your opponent is vulnerable to. So you click this little button here. If you're on a different screen size it might be hard to see but if you look right here it's a tiny little button called select target. You click on that and then click on what the creature is. And um, yeah it tells you its weakness is slash. So um, yeah I've just, I've just done that. So yeah if you now get a uh, melee weapon because its weakness is slash. Okay, we don't need any equipment apparently. Oh, yeah, th th this is basically just guiding you through stuff. So yeah, I think you can do this with anyone or any monster that's in a um, combat area, which is pretty good. So if you're gonna like fight someone, you can guess what's gonna be good against them. So, uh, what do I need to do now then? Inspect the dummy and attack it appropriately. So, um. Dummy's weakness is stab. Okay, so need to get melee stuff. Um, a dagger is stabbing, scimitar is slashing, and a maul is crushing. So you want to get a dagger? Yep, I think that's right. And attack it. Excellent. Try another. Why is it changed? What it is? Don't know. Now what's its weakness? Its weakness is arrows. So let's get a range set. Uh, let's try the crossbow. I've not tried the crossbow yet, so that should be good. When it, whenever it hits, you know. <laughs> <coughs> but you can pretty much guess the idea, you know. I think this is that wasn't right. I mean, this arrow. Fuck. Never mind. It's bolts, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. Never mind then. Okay. Uh, its weakness is now fire spells. So you want to get that. And now you want to go on to uh, magic.
thingy here and click fire. But you need to do a fire spell. Can I do fire? I don't know. I think I can. Whenever it hits, you know, because I've got, like, you know, no magic, but whatever. <laughs> Hope you've seen the benefits of exploiting your enemy's weaknesses. Yep, definitely. Yay, now I've done that again. So, also, you know the rank that you get. If you want to get higher rank, you can go back and do this again. Um, I think you can select from the menu or whatever what you want to do. Okay, so we need to learn an important lesson. She just raped me. <laughs> Alright. So, you need to prepare for the course. So, basically, just get a load of more food. Also, if you have the action bar up, you can drag food into there. Yep. Well, it's going to show you now. You can drag food in, so to number one there. So then, you just click that, and you eat food. Or I think if you press one, yep, and it eats food as well. But I'm just going to get quite a lot of them because I've got low health. So, yeah. All right, which one shall we go for? I think magic because I I like the look of magic most so far. Alright, training dummy, let's see. Its weakness is none, so you can pretty much attack it with anything you want to. So let's just attack it. See how that goes. Um if you look here, <coughs> uh this one, this is where you have little abilities and stuff. But what if you want to deal some serious damage? You can use the special abilities, yeah. Okay, these are all the abilities you can do so far. Th these are the ones that I can do anyway, and I I think this account's probably the best for doing this tutorial on because it's like basically how you would start the game, so yeah. Um, so what you can do is you can drag these abilities into the bar, so if you want to drag that one into there, that's a pretty basic one, but you know, it's fine. So now you can click that, and click on that, click to use the ability, and it you know, did a different attack. Now, it has like a cooldown period, basically, so when you use it, you can't, you can't use it straight away. You have to wait, like, a tiny bit more. But yeah, we're doing good. Yeah, it, do, it, ha it tells you about all the cooldown stuff and that, so yeah, don't worry about it. So yeah, if you want to use that one again. Also, can you see the adrenaline bar thingy here? Um, this basically allows you to do more abilities the more adrenaline you have. So, um, <coughs> obviously the more involved you get in a fight, the more adrenaline you're going to have. So, yeah. Do you see that? Using an ability raised my adrenaline very, very much. So if I use the fire thing, target is too far away, so let's try it now. And I just breathed fire all over it. Uh, let's see, does this work? Yeah, I want to show you the tsunami because it looks really cool. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm just um, I'm just trying to raise the um, adrenaline as quick as possible. Really. Uh, let's see. This fire thing did quite good. And you see, you can switch between the two fire thing and that one to just drain. I mean, drain, gain your uh, thing very quick. I should have be able to do tsunami very very quickly so yeah and let me just go here and then go here and then I'll do tsunami doesn't that look awesome <laughs> so yeah go back to her are you ready to begin the practical I've just I've just gave everyone a demonstration you don't need to do this but totally surrounded by vicious skeletons to prove the powers of the to you take on these skeletons at once and kill them ah crap Okay, never mind. We can do this shit. Yeah, as you can see, look, these are pretty easy to kill, to be honest. You know, they're like noob skeletons, so <laughs> yeah. Boom. Okay, right now let's get that one. Always kind of, you know, watch your health because um, <coughs> you you don't want to focus too much on the abilities and then like have no health left or whatever. I'm just using this basic ability because I like it. And it's probably the only one I've got. <laughs> you have no target. Why can't I just kill it? Oh, I was clicking wrong. Never mind. Rawr. Fire. I think magic's like really cool. 
in EOC anyway. I'll probably do a lot of magic on my other account soon, hopefully. Right now, if I'm going to do this right, I'm just going to do it here. And then, hopefully this should pwn all of them. It only pwned one of them, but oh well. You know, it's all good, don't worry. <laughs> I'm taking, like, I'm tanking quite a lot. I mean, obviously I am a tank in this game, so, you know. I can use the basic magic abilities and not get magic XP, which could work out quite good if I want to have a stake or something. I really like that, how you can do magic but not get <laughs> magic XP, or that might just be because of the um, tutorial thing. I don't know. And there you go, we've done that. So, um, if you need to look over those abilities again, just like replay the video or something, or across this bit, but it's, it's really good. I really like this bit so far. <coughs> I've just basically explained to you what the adrenaline bar does. So, you know, you don't really need to um, focus too much on this bit, but, you know, it's good just to get it from the people that made it. So you know what you're doing. Using... Let's let's do some basic abilities. So the fire thing, I really love the fire thing. It looks cool. Do that one. Now we'll do that one. Hopefully. Yes, there you go. And there's a really really cool range one as well, where you can like shoot an arrow in the air and it flies down. It hit like 8k on the other account I did. So that was really good. <laughs> All right, I'm getting a bit carried away. <laughs> All right. What do I do now? Oh, I'll just keep doing this, I think, until I get to those really cool abilities. Alright, that used a lot, so you have to get find which ones give you adrenaline and which ones drain your adrenaline. You can pretty much figure those out for yourself, though, later on. Or whatever. <laughs> Come on, I need to get to those ones. They should do it. Yeah, right, so then we've got uh, Ultimate Ability in Tsunami. I've not used Ultimate Ability yet, so that's pretty good. Okay, practical demonstration, grab some food and shit. <coughs> that's my health's 1.61, I don't know why that is, I don't know. Strange. Alright, let's just get a lot of food. Alright, and we'll start the demonstration. Yes, I'm ready to fight. Alright, what's this? Skeletal Juggernaut. Uh, what's its weakness? Its weakness is none, so I think we can just do whatever we want, but I'm going to use range on it this time. And let's pwn it. Right, going to range, what abilities have we got for range? Well, they're all here, actually, so that's cool. Alright, let's just use these. I'm not sh quite sure what any of these abilities do, I'm just clicking them. <laughs> this is the ability of... Thing. You see, like, I'm hitting pretty good, you know, for someone with, like, one range. I'm not hitting the worst possible, which is really good. I quite like the combat sort of, you know, PvP of this. It's, it's really good. Let's just... Look, that, that was the one that I thought was really cool. Yeah, it comes down and, like, basically pounds them in the face with range. This is really good. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but, you know, I'm having fun. <laughs> Hopefully you are as well. Come on, hit. Um, this one. Bam. Alright, I want to see what that is, so hopefully I won't kill it by the time I get to that ability. I probably will, though, saying that. But let's just see. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think food's that important so far at my level. Hmm. Will we get there, hopefully? Just don't, don't kill it just yet, please. Don't kill it. Yes. And then we'll use this one. Boom! And it basically, yeah, just like one hit KOs it. Oh yeah, I got legendary rank for that. That's cool. <laughs> and so yeah, I think you guys will have a lot of fun doing this tutorial. It's pretty cool. Okay. Blah 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 blah. So she's uh, stunning me for whatever reason. I don't know. Nope. Let's continue. Okay. Uh binding shot. The next effect I'd like to explain is damage over time. These invert a set amount of damage but to multiple hits over a short period of time. 
Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty fine. Pew. Get owned. <laughs> okay, let's just continue. Adventure. Could you use the damage over time ability on me? Okay. Pew. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, damage over time seems like something that would help me a lot in this. Combo attacks perform multiple attacks within one ability. However, unlike damage over time, these abilities don't allow you to do all this stuff. Yeah, whatever. That's fine. Okay, now she's like slapping me in the face for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <coughs> Hit me with a combo attack. I will if this will let me. Oh, not doing bad actually. Just make sure I won't suddenly get like 20 range. Now we're going to cover multiple target attacks. These attacks multiple targets at once. They center on your target and also hit the ones around it. Okay, multiple attacks seems very good. Alright, let's just continue. Leave the demonstration. The combat dummies. Alright. So we use that. Finally, I like to cover abilities that take more of a supporting role. These abilities don't directly deal damage. Instead, they either boost damage or reduce the damage you take. That sounds useful very much. Ah, okay, that sounds good. Basically, I have, like, hit points, abilities. That's really good, actually. I like that. Basic ability. What's that? Let's do this, shall we? Now activate momentum. Okay. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> that was cool. What's that? Provoke. Rah. Okay, time for the practical demonstration. Right, so, um, I've not really done much melee so far, so let's do some melee. Melee is good. But so far, I think I really like ranging mage. I'm gonna probably spend a lot of time on my, uh, combat account. <laughs> On this. Wait, on this as well, you know. Are you ready to begin? Yeah. After the spell attack the skeletons, remember to use your ability effects. Okay. Let's go. Let's try this. Phew. Yeah. I don't think I have many abilities because I'm, um, you know, quite low combat, but you know, whatever. It's all good. Um, what does that do? I don't know, let's try it. Target is too close. Okay, let's try it over here then. No, I don't know. Oh well, let's try this one again. Let's try this one. Bam! Get poked. In the face. <laughs> this is really fun. And you can drag those here. That's that's quite good. Oh, what's that? Threshold ability. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Alright, shit, now we need to kill a lot of them at one time. Uh, never mind, we'll do it. Alright, so obviously you can put your abilities in here, you know, if you want to. Oh, that looked awesome. <laughs> Did it kill him? No, there's another one left. Oh well, let's, let's sort this bitch out. Puck. <laughs> Puck. <coughs> I really want to do Tsunami again, that was really cool. Uh, let's do this. Get 50, bitch. Probably a newbie statement ever, but oh well. I don't care. Smash. Smash. Poke. Smash. <laughs> uh, let's do this. Boom! And they get like pretty much one hit by that, that's really cool. Bam! Alright, um. Let's just keep doing the noobish abilities until. Well, they're pretty much all the ones I can do. <laughs> Until we can hopefully do something good. Poke. That was more like a slap, actually, not poke. Slap, slap, slap. <laughs> Alright, let's do this again. Oh, yeah. Alright, that was cool. That was very cool. And is there one left? Okay. Yep, let's pet this bitch. Let's just keep, keep slapping him. Until we can, like... Do something awesome. Ability is not ready. It is now. Ha ha. Bam. Ah <laughs> oh, shit. My thing just. Ability thing. 
Ah, but no, it's... Here we go. Come on. Come on, one more thing. And we'll do this. Oh, yeah. This is the big... Beast ability. Rah! I don't know what that does, actually, but... Dramatic increases the damage of your auto attacks for 20 minutes. Alright, that's good. That's very good. <laughs> that's neatly fits the Soul Wars game, actually. Bam! Alright, I just want to, like, sort this guy out quickly now, then. So we can do the next bit. I want to do that spinny thing. That looks really cool. And then just, like, smash on the ground, and then they just get, like, sucked into a void of death. <laughs> Uh, this one? No, that's still regenerating. Do this one. Let's do this. Well, this guy seems to be taking his time to die. Oh well, more time to pound him. Yay, we have a legend rank. That's pretty good. That sounds nice. Let's continue. Alright, which part are we on now? Are we done? Oh, okay, we're done. That's cool. So yeah, if you can see here, we've done all of them, and um, there we, if you look, i got little ranks here, and then obviously you can go back and do them again, and do them even better. Progress, 90%, so you know, I must not have um, done that, what do I need to do? Attack the weakest skeleton first, time, most of the time, attack the weakest skeleton first, okay. Attack the skeleton that is naturally weak to the weapon provided most of the time. So obviously, you know, you can go back and do those again. So you know, I might do that. <laughs> let's let's see. But yeah, um, if you're, you know, if if that's what you want to learn, then you know, videos ended here. Um, but if you want to just keep watching for the sake of it, you know, why not? Okay. All right, let's do the demonstration thing. Uh, melee. Alright, so let's see. What is the melee one weak against? Melee one is weak against Crush, apparently. No, magic is good against melee, I know that. Not that much of a noob. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Bam! Excellent. Now attack the range skeleton. Now, what was range weak against? I can't remember. Uh. No, 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 the range one. He's weak against Crush again. Alright, I'm gonna have to guess melee for range. Uh, yeah, well, it's kind of showing it that you're there, so, you know, that's kind of feel a bit stupid, but whatever. Bam! Get slapped. And then it's range against melee. Yep. I will, just let me get the range set. I'm trying to get the range set. Back off. Okay, there we go. Bam! Great, this is a prime example and you are now pro. So yeah, if you see there look, we have the rank now, which we didn't have before. So that's pretty good. Exploiting our opponent's weaknesses. So yeah. This is like I think the bit that I didn't have, I've got to attack I've got to attack the weakest skeleton first. When I get gang raped again. I think that's what's gonna happen to me. Yeah, we've done all this stuff again. So yeah, basically all the the guide is gone now. The guide's done. Um, I'm just trying to uh, I'm just trying to unlock those ones that I didn't get previously. All right, slash. So then we should get melee. Yeah, we should move on. Come on, we're done. We're done. <laughs> all right. So identify the dummy and attack it appropriately. That is against slash. So we get melee. Uh, we get a slashy weapon, and we pwn it. Ding! Excellent. Try another. All right. What is it weak to now? It is weak to range. So we, yeah. This is where I kind of fucked up before. <laughs> it's weak to arrows, not bolts. I thought they were the kind of. I didn't notice that, but whatever. All right. Attack that again. Excellent. Try another. What are you weak to now? Uh, earth spells. Okay. That's fine. Also, I like how the little bow's kind of <laughs> tucked. It's a training bow, which you can't get anymore, apparently. Uh, okay, magic. It's weak to earth, so... Earth strike. Come on, hit. 
great, that'll do. Blah blah blah. And there we go. So that's done. I think it should take me back to RuneScape now. Yeah, we're done, okay. So if you click leave, uh, I should have unlocked those, um, I should have unlocked, no, fuck. Alright, yeah, so if you look, I went back and did that again, and now I've got 100% progress, so, you know, if you have any of those that you, you don't like, but I've pretty much completed all this now, which is really awesome. So now, if you go on to, uh, do you talk to her, and then you say, is there any rewards? Yes, and she gives you basically shit tons of, um, <laughs> reward books and these are really good um, I'm probably going to use it on farming actually so click reward book and it's just like a normal one but there's some things that I can't use it on so um, I can't use it for farming I can use it for slayer herbal ore attack range not, I can't do it for mining wait can, what about different XP books uh, they all work on the same thing so um, I can get hit points. I, I could actually save these, but I don't know if I can save them. But you know, if I like use them for when I get these are six point three k. So yeah, basically do this at the end, and you get a load of books, and you can get combat stuff up with them, which is really great. Kind of sucks that I can't use it for skilling, but you know, whatever. It probably thinks that my combat is so newbie that I should get it up doing stuff like this. I could do herblore actually. Um that's um yeah. Alright, so um anyway guys, thanks for watching. Um I hope you like this guide or whatever or I hope you just enjoyed watching it. And there's some coins over there, let's pick up the coins. Is that coins? Is that coins? Yes, there's coins. Sixty four coins, yay. <laughs> Alright. So um yeah, I will see you in the next uh video. That will be part three of skilling in EOC and um, yeah I'll see you later